Hey, what's going on guys? B Flatten here with a brand new episode of the Daily Weekly where we cover daily and weekly missions rotating every single Thursday to cover them in the most easy way possible. Or if you don't know where a location is, I will also cover it for you as well. So today we're going to be starting off with Aurelia. Now Aurelia is a story mission boss, so if you don't remember where she is, you can find her in Eden 6 Black Barrel Cellars. She's just going to be at the very end. You spawn in uh, right over here, you just take the pathway up, you uh, jump up over a uh, conveyor belt ledge, and then you'll see the drop down point right here where you can fight Aurelia. Now Aurelia could be kind of annoying, she has a bunch of immunity phases and uh, she has an attempt of healing, but uh, if you have a fairly decent uh, good end game build you should be able to kill her off no problems. She does that sort of a crystal shield kind of thing, you can throw an explosive uh, grenade uh, to instantly blow it up. Or if you are uh, Moe's with Iron Bear, you can just stomp an Iron Bear and you can blow it up in one hit. Making it so that she cannot heal and she cannot shield herself from damage. It makes it a lot easier of a fight if you uh, know how to blow up her little crystal, uh, little crystal shield thing that she does. Nice, quick, and easy. Aurelia is down. That will be your challenge for Aurelia. She does drop some decent gear, like the Frozen Heart. So I would always check her gear if you uh, haven't done so already. Next up on the list, we have Troy Calypso. Troy Calypso is also a story boss that you can find in the uh, in the Great uh, or no, sorry, the Cathedral of the Twin Gods. No, I lied. Uh, it's actually in the Great Vault. And Troy Calypso is actually very early on in the, um, very early on by the spawn point. You just go to the spawn point, you jump down, and that's Troy Calypso instantly right there. It's going to be kind of an annoying fight. So if you have uh, some form of sustainment or fire damage, you're going to be in a really good place. Troy has a little bit of combos that uh, he likes to use to try to uh, do a lot of damage on you, like that rush attack there. He usually combos it up with a... Uh, bunch of orbs like that and uh kind of an annoying fight but uh if you have some form of sustainment and uh, a lot of damage on your build you should be able to uh clear off Troy with no problems honestly the longest part about the fight is whenever he leaves the fight during his immunity phases and nukes the field that's going to be the more annoying part of the fight the nukes that he drops are very predictable, so you shouldn't have a problem with that at all. Doesn't do too, too much damage there. I really should be using Soul Fire here, but I'm not. So that's totally my bad. Kind of lazy to use Soul Fire though and switch up my action skill, not gonna lie. Uh, and then he's gonna do his, uh, he's gonna jump out of his immunity phase here. Kinda fakes that one. Then he's gonna start doing his, uh, big grand, ground pound kind of thing, if you've ever played Mario. He does a little ground pound, uh, pack there. But that's okay, nice and easy, Troy is down. Next up on the list, we're gonna go be, uh, we're gonna be visiting a lot of, uh, the Splinterlands today. Uh, because the next one up on the list is the Phoenix. I had a few people asking me where the Phoenix was. Uh, this is one of the source drops for the uh, Deathless artifact, even though it's a very annoying uh, source location for it, and most people just get it off world drops, or now you can get the trials. But uh, if you want to know the actual source and where to get the challenge for Phoenix, or if you want to farm your Deathless, uh, this is going to be the way to find Phoenix. So you enter the very beginning of the Splinterlands, you just pick the vehicle there, drive down the pathway, and you immediately take a left as soon as you get here. As soon as you get here, hug a left, take an immediate left, and uh, you'll see like this little like spiral mountain or whatever it is. You take the spiral mountain all the way up to the top, and then at the very top you should see Phoenix there. Now, Phoenix is kind of an annoying boss fight because it has three phases, because as a Phoenix it dies and it revives itself, except it gets more powerful every time. I would actually recommend farming Phoenix as Moe's because uh, you can just sit in uh, 
auto bear turret and just let auto bear like home in on it. Otherwise, it's kind of annoying unless you have some form of uh, way to home in on the Phoenix. If you don't, Phoenix can be kind of annoying and uh, be a big pain in the ass to you. So this is the first phase. It's going to go down to this pile of ash. Um, you want to get kind of close to Phoenix because uh, if you're a certain distance away, the Phoenix won't actually revive itself. Um, I've noticed that a few times whenever I was just trying to AFK farm with Auto Bear. So you want to be actually rather close to the Phoenix in order for it to revive, uh, otherwise it won't. Uh, Legendary Phoenix is the final form, just to keep in mind, so you know which one is the uh, last one to kill. And once we kill off Phoenix there, that is the Phoenix. Now while we're here, also in the Splinterlands, uh, we might as well clean up the uh, other two farms that are here. It's actually going to be a lot easier if you just go to this fast travel. So we're going to go hit up the other fast travel and uh, go from there. You want to go all the way down to this one here. This is just the way that I take normally. Usually a lot easier. There's a car station right here, and you also get uh, rather close to uh, the next spot that we want to go to. Uh, the next one on the way is the Trials of Cunning. Now, the Trials of Cunning is uh, where you're going to be finding the uh, next location for the Super Trials of Cunning, where you can get the new uh, boss fight, the bumped up boss fight, and everything like that. Um... It's going to be dropping two new items, the Skull Masher and the uh, Sickle. So if you want to pick up those items, that's where you can do so. And you're going to be finding the location for it right in this cave over here. So from the spawn location, we just took this pathway here. We drove up here and it's in this little cave area right here at the very end. That's where the Trials of Cunning you can be, uh, uh, you, you can pick up and that's where you can start uh, the mission for it. You'll have to go back to Sanctuary and travel there and use the drop pod, but other than that, you are good. Uh, from there, you want to take this ramp up here. You hang a right, and you'll see like this little fenced-off camp area. From here, this is where you can find Road Dog, who also appeared on a uh, weekly mission, or sorry, a daily mission uh, early last week. And Road Dog drops one of the more powerful uh, shotguns in the game, the Hellwalker. Uh, so you want to farm him if you want to get that done. Uh, so that is Road Dog down. That is Trials of Cunning down. Lastly, we're going to go after the Antelope, who actually appeared today. So the Antelope is also on Pandora, and you want to go to uh, Devil's Razor for the Antelope. And in Devil's Razor, you're going to go to the Roland's Rest uh, spawn station. From here, you're going to want to pick up a car. And uh, you just want to basically want to drive straight forward. You'll see like a little bridge and like a little underpassing that you can go to. And the antelope is going to spawn there. I'll show you as soon as uh, we load in. There we go. Jump on through. And here's your car station. Take the car and you basically just take a straight path forward. Now from your straight path forward, you'll hit up this road here. And there's your bridge with a little underpassing. You can drive off that. I think I actually took the slower way, unfortunately. My bad. Uh, but Antelope is going to spawn in that little nest over here. There's the Antelope. You kill the Antelope. And that's going to be completing that daily challenge there. Now that we've completed all the daily missions, we can go cover the weekly missions for this week. Mine is kill uh, 250 enemies with pistols. You want to make sure that the pistol is actually getting the kill and not some anointment that's going to interrupt it. Or um, some sort of like unlisted projectiles that the Free Radical has, unfortunately. So um, you want to make sure the pistol gets the kill itself. I would probably recommend using a Maggie on like Mayhem 1 or 0. Uh, or if you just use a pistol or a free radical on the daily or on the normal, then I would just go with that. If you're on the PlayStation side of things, uh, you will have 250 TDR kills. So the TDR reload and the TDR done itself will all count. 
if you catch a TD or item in SMG and arms race, this would probably be one of the easier ways to do it. Uh, an anarchy would be super solid. Um, and also things like, uh, like the TD or gun itself actually has to get the kill, not the not an annoyant like you, right, or something like that. I would probably recommend uh, arms race the most, actually, because that's probably the easiest way that you can get the kill. Um, other than that, I think that's going to be doing it for the uh daily weekly episode this week uh thank you all so much for watching and if i did not cover a daily or weekly mission that you would like me to cover in the future let me know down in the comments and i will cover it in the very near future uh until next week this has been the daily weekly my name is b flattened and i'm signing on out of here take care all laters <laughs>